His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received the Bahraini business delegation taking part in the Asia Cooperation Dialogue, the ACD Summit, at his residence in Bangkok. The Prime Minister directed Bahraini businessmen to work with their counterparts in Asian countries to make Bahrain a center for the distribution of Asian products in the Gulf Cooperation Council countries. He also underlined the government's keenness on removing all obstacles and ensuring easy procedures for businessmen and investors in order to encourage the launch of joint Bahraini-Asian ventures in general and Bahraini Thai in particular. The Premier stressed the need to broaden cooperation between Bahrain and Asian countries and make optimum advantage of Asian countries' huge potentials to launch strong economic partnerships that support Bahrain's development efforts and contribute to upgrading the national economy at all levels. He said that Southeast Asian countries' economic successes and their ability to set a global development model constitute a unique experience that should be emulated, calling for drawing inspiration from that experience by applying the distinguished elements on the Bahrain economy to consolidate its sustainable growth ability. He also said that the huge potentials and resources enjoyed by Asian countries entitled them to be pivotal players at the international arena and that Bahrain should extend more bridges of cooperation with them through focusing on projects that support Bahrain's economy and contribute to generating more jobs for Bahraini citizens. The Prime Minister underlined the government's keenness on providing all facilities that enable businessmen to launch more partnerships with investors from various countries, stressing that it will not hesitate in backing any national effort aimed at attracting foreign investments to Bahrain. His Royal Highness called on Bahraini businessmen to intensify their visits to Asian countries and participate in various economic conferences and events to promote Bahrain's economic openness and freedom and its distinguished status as a leading regional financial and banking hub as well as reaching trade deals that benefit the national economy. He emphasized that GCC countries should develop their economic tools and mechanisms to become an economic bloc with more influence in world trade and in the international decision-making process, affirming that GCC states are well qualified for that role and have to develop a more comprehensive outlook in the future. Bahraini businessmen thank the Prime Minister for supporting them to set up economic partnership with their counterparts from various countries, which embodies the Premier's wisdom and far-sighted vision regarding the crucial role played by the private sector in assisting the government develop the national economy. They added that the government, under the leadership of the Premier, allocated great interest in providing all facilities that support the private sector and motivated to invest in all fields. The businessman stated that the Premier's keenness to stand by them and traders always gives them confidence and reassures them, adding that he has a thorough modern economic vision that has made Bahrain a role model for progress. They also said that they would hold meetings with their Asian counterparts on the sidelines of the Asia Cooperation Dialogue and said that they will take part in the meeting of the Joint Bahraini Thai Committee to discuss areas of bilateral cooperation and coordination in various commercial, industrial and investment fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister has issued directives to start work in the East Citra housing projects to build 5,000 units before the end of this year. His Royal Highness stated that the project will implement the Royal Directives and achieve the goals set in the Government Action Plan, adding that the project should be funded through international partnership in cooperation and coordination with the ISCAM Bank. The Premier tasked the Housing Ministry to cooperate with the Minister of Finance and other relevant parties to take the necessary procedures in this regard. He also requested the Ministerial Committee for Urbanization and Infrastructure and the Ministerial Committee for Financial Affairs and Rationalizing Expenditure to follow up on the matter. His Royal Highness affirmed that the government will intensify its housing projects and programs, being strongly resolved to bring about a positive change in the planning, construction and management of Bahraini cities to improve the citizens' standards of living. He issued his directives marking the UN Conference on Housing and Sustainable Urban Development Habitat 3 set to take place in Quito in Ecuador. The Foreign Minister Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa said that Bahrain will host the first meeting of the Secretaries General of all the forums and international and regional sub-regional organizations. The minister was speaking at a dinner banquet held by the Thai Foreign Affairs Minister Don Peramud Winay in honor of the foreign ministers participating in the ACD summit in Bangkok.
The foreign minister stressed the importance of exploiting the convening of this important summit in the development of a unified Asian attitude, saying that the adoption of unilateral legislation affects this principle and violates principles of international law and the Charter of the UN. He warned the politicization of the laws in, is a dangerous precedent in international relations and will create chaos that will topple interstate confidence and negatively affects international cooperation, peace and security. The minister also underlined the need of strengthening the framework of Asian cooperation in line with the work of the UN Commission on Sustainable Development in 2030. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met today with the Asian Cooperation Dialogue Secretary General Bandit Lim Shon during his official visit to Thailand to participate in the ACD with Bahrain's delegation led by the Prime Minister. The Foreign Minister affirmed the importance of the ACD's goals to Bahrain and highlighted its efforts to cooperate with member states to achieve these goals in the ideal manner. He said that this was in line with the Kingdom's beliefs that these goals will benefit all member states and will bolster joint interests. This, in addition to achieving the aspirations of the people of member states for further progress. The minister noted that bolstering cooperation among member states in all fields will ensure overcoming obstacles facing these countries and establishing security and peace in the region. He said Bahrain was a funding member of the ACD, wishing the summit success in achieving its goals for the benefit of all people at all levels. And for his part, Mr. Lin Shon hailed the role of Bahrain in reinforcing ties between the participating countries, wishing Bahrain and its people more prosperity. Bahrain University and General Electric Company signed a memorandum of understanding in the presence of a number of officials from both sides. Bahrain University President Dr. Riyadh Yusuf Hamza highlighted the importance of the agreement that embodies cooperation and partnership between the national institution and national and international private sector, adding that such agreements present international expertise to students. Under the agreement, GE will provide support for trainee students in its fields, support the students finally projects in its area, provide training courses for them as well as participating in conferences, workshops and seminars held by the university by providing speakers, experts and work papers. GE Regional Manager Salim Musallam expressed delight in signing the MOU with Bahrain University, looking forward to broadening its aspects for the benefit of the students and Bahrain.